Hey everyone, do you know how to make an unboxing video? If you do, that's great. But if you don't, today we'll be unboxing some of the things that you will need to know when you want to create an effective unboxing video. Hey Freedom, what's up? My name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all Freedom content. On today's episode, let's talk about how you can make effective unboxing videos on YouTube. But before we do that guys, please like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Welcome to Freedom Quick Tips. Number one is get good equipment. I think I have said this time and time again. It's true though. If you want to make good quality videos, you should have good equipment. If you don't have the funds, that's fine. You can just use your phone and other cameras that you have around available. If you don't have a good microphone, I suggest to use your smartphone and, and place it near your voice so that you can capture good audio. You will need a stable tripod too, but if you don't have it, that's fine. You just need to set your camera to a place where it is stable and can see the whole unboxing video. Number two is make sure that your background or your backdrop is presentable. Like what we said in our DIY videos, it's better if you remove distractions. It's best if your background is clean and no other unnecessary stuff are included in the video. If you think about it, you will just need to keep things tidy and ready for shooting. If your place is messy, your audience will be distracted and once they are distracted, they will not be able to focus on the video which is your unboxing video. Number three is choose a product that you want to unbox. Okay, so unboxing is not just getting a product that you can buy and do an unboxing video that won't feel authentic and original. You should do an unboxing video of what you want to have because your excitement and personality will shine out. And as we say in content creation, your personality is what gets your audience watching. Number four, add personal touches in your videos. Here is where you add your quirks. Be yourself. If you're a funny guy, be funny. If you are calm and collected, do so. Always remember guys, personality is key. Number five is don't forget video effects. Some of the footages you do can be fast forwarded or maybe time lapsed. Try doing it in scenes that you are setting up the product, removing all unnecessary stuff from the product and a lot more. But guys, don't overdo it. If you put too much of the effects, then it might get overwhelming. You wouldn't want that. Number six, if you want a comedic effect on your unboxing videos, throw out the manual. People would love that. Don't use the manual and try to wing it. But what I'm saying is just add some kind of funny side in your video. But guys, if you want to wing it and see where it takes you, be my guest. That would be really funny though. Number seven is if you screw up, put it in the video. I swear guys that you will definitely have recordings that you will be screwing up in the video. Maybe you may use a different screw, you drop something, you break something. Those will be funny videos that your fans will love to see. But then again guys, don't try to wing it. Do you think that there's still ideas out there that should be inside this video? Let us know down below. Share this to your friend guys who wants to make unboxing videos or they're constantly making unboxing videos but are not successful in doing so. But before you leave guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. I'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.